What is a normal color gain, abnormal color gain, normal PW gain, uh, too high of a gain, too low of a gain. So again, I'm just going to just go right into just looking at the CCA here. I'm going to go ahead and put color on this image. Um, one thing you want to understand is when the color box is stared straight down, you can see at that point you're seeing red, blue. Um, that is no Doppler shift. So again, you're not necessarily able to identify the direction of flow. It's very important that you have your box stared nice and parallel to the vessel. And as you can see in this case, um, blood flow to the in the carotid arteries is going towards the head. The box is stared the opposite direction. So I always think of it as a head-on collision, positive Doppler shift. Now, as I follow this up towards the head and I began to I begin to steer the box the other way, as I steer the box, you can notice that your color box is changed. In this case, now blood is flowing towards the brain. And also the box is also stared in that same direction. And you can see that at this point, it is a negative Doppler shift. You're going to see your box change as you steer the box. I'm going to steer it again the other way. You can see again that it's gone the other way. We have a positive Doppler shift. Stare the other way now. It's a negative Doppler shift based on the orientation of the transducer and the direction of blood flow. Now, once you understand that, again, it's very important that you keep your box stared and your vessel parallel to the vessel. Now, we're going to go right into color. You want to understand the use of color as well. If I turn my color gain up, this is, I'm turning the color gain up, that is not normal because at that point you have bleeding out of the vessel. I'm going to turn the color gain all the way down. Turning it down means, again, I'm not going to get a nice filling within the vessel. So I have to optimize it. It means turning it up enough just to see it fill in within the vessel. The moment it starts bleeding out of the vessel, your color gain is too high. Again, I want you to understand the terms I'm using. You're going to hear color gain, color scale. PW gain, PW scale, they're all different terms. So in this case, we're talking about the color gain, high color gain, not good, low color gain, not good. You want to optimize it just well enough to fill up the box. That looks good. Another thing we're going to talk about is the color scale, color scale. Now this is me. You can see at this point, the color scale is at 40. As I bring it down, this is me bringing it down. It is getting too low. You can see aliasing within the vessel. You're starting to see Christmas lights. That's not normal. Again, if I turn the scale up too high, you can see that color scale. I'm taking it back up now. If I turn it way too high, you can see at this point, you're not getting good color filling. That's because at this point, the average velocity within the vessel is way too high for that uh, velocity within the vessel. So you have the scale at 125, when in reality, the average velocity is right about 40, 50. So you want to bring it down, and you can see that I brought that down. That is nice and optimal. Now we're going to go into uh, pulse wave. Pulse wave. Now at this point, we're doing pulse wave. When you're doing pulse wave again, you, you have to be parallel to the vessel. Parallel to the vessel, blood is going down this way. You want to be nice and parallel because now I'm going to go ahead and get away from here. You can see waveform looks pretty good. Now, when you're doing your PW, I'm going to see if I can turn the volume down on this thing. Um, okay. When you're doing your PW, you want to make sure that you're at the center of the vessel. I'm just going to try to be parallel to my vessel as much as I can. I'm going to be the highest velocity flow is right at the center of the vessel called laminar flow. Okay. If I go too close to the wall, you can see what happens to that waveform. It looks very crappy. I lose my spectral window. If I go too close to that wall, again, it looks crappy. I lose my spectral window. The moment I go right to the center of the vessel, you can see velocity goes up. I have my spectral window. That looks good. Now, another thing is this. If I am scanning, and this is nice and parallel, if I have it stared incorrectly, watch what happens to that waveform. You can see Damping, I've lost my spectral window, velocity looks abnormal. If I decide to steer it again incorrectly the other way, you can see what's going to happen there again. Crappy velocities, um, I lose my spectral window. It is very important that you have it stared correctly, nice and parallel. That looks good. Now, as you're playing with your waveform, I'm also going to now play with the pulse wave gain, also known as your spectral gain. If I have it way too high, that looks horrible, okay? You have snow white going on, so you want to turn it down. 
where it's nice and clean, okay? You can now see, I'm turning it down now, I can see my spectral window, looks great. Another thing you want to know with your pulse wave is your scale, pulse wave scale. If I have my scale looking too high at 300, that's very abnormal. Um, you can see at this point, when I do measure the velocity here, it's going to be inaccurate because any slight um, inaccuracy with measurements is going to be significant due to um, a too high velocity scale. Now, if I have my velocity scale too low, and I'm going to go ahead and do this. If my scale is too low, what I'm going to have there is what is called aliasing, wrapping around of the waveforms. So it's very important that you have your scale just right, okay, just right, to help optimize. One, you get nice velocity. You're able to measure your velocity. Again, your pulse wave gain. This is gain, PW gain, all right? I'm going to turn PW gain down, all right? What I'm adjusting here now, as you see, this is PW scale, also known as spectral scale, velocity scale. So you want to understand those terminologies as you are working with color Doppler, spectral Doppler, uh, so on and so forth. Okay, hopefully this helps and good luck.